Welcome back to Good Morning Lala Land. I'm so excited to welcome to the show Corey Brooks, most famously known for his role on CBS's Big Brother and now on season two of MTV's X on the Beach. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having thanks me, for guys. Me, so yeah, sure. you're on this very famous quest for love. <laughs> yeah. America wants to know, how's it going? Uh, you know, I haven't had a you know a lot of luck. I don't know if it's my fault or like it's the the, the people that I'm choosing. Um, you know, I I really try to invest you know my time in, in dating a, a lot. You know, my mom wants little Corey's running around, <laughs> and um, I'm not giving to her. Luckily, my sister just had a baby, so she uh -huh. bought me some time. But um, but let's be real, you're also making dating a business. You've got a couple successful apps. Tell us about those. Yeah, I started an app a couple years ago. Um, it basically connects you know fans with their favorite like you know reality TV person personalities, athletes, you know, I've, I've played baseball in college, so I've got a lot of, you know, buddies that are on my app, you know, that play with the Dodgers or, you know, whoever it is. Okay, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Let, like that. Let's get into this. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay, because we want, we want you to have, everyone wants everyone to have everything that they truly desire. Right. So let's yeah. get real for a minute. Okay. Do you really, really want love? Yeah, absolutely. You do. Yeah, okay, so, absolutely. I so let's love. talk about this. So what does that look like for you? Because I think a lot of um, no. us, we have these expectations, and we go and we see these, we've seen these fantasy. Right. We have all these options out there, and we're looking for maybe something that doesn't exist, or we only want certain parts of people. Like, what is it that you really want? I mean, I just want like a best friend. You Aww. know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I've, I've had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend five years. We broke up a couple years ago. Uh, we had a very good relationship for the most part. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work out. And, but, and I think, don't you think that it takes a little while to build? It like, takes a while. Right? So yeah. how do you do that? Like when you're first dating, it's kind of like. Man, it's tough to get to that point where you're really comfortable with them, mm -hmm. and you want to like see them a lot, and you know, invest a lot of time in them. You know, like especially if you have a lot going on, um, you know, your time is valuable. So um, just finding that right person mm -hmm. that you really care about and. You know, you, you have to have like the perfect amount of crazy in a relationship. You, have to <laughs> like, you know, so. yeah. you know dating is difficult enough, let alone dating and being famous. Rob uh, obviously was a coach yeah. on Famously Single. What advice would you give him? I think he's pretty perfect the way he is. <laughs> I have no advice for him. I really don't have any advice for him. I would say that, you know, the one thing that um, I experienced, um, uh, both personally and uh, professionally, um, through famously, famously Single and with my own clients, is just try to enjoy the process, right? Like that's yeah. the most important thing is to enjoy the process. When you become too focused on results, especially with dating, just like business, right. you start to lose the passion and the enthusiasm. And it's the passion and the enthusiasm that's so attractive to people. Yeah, you know some people I mean? call it crazy, I call it passion. There you go, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you're doing a great there. I have no advice for you at all. So are the, you women, enjoying the women want to know process? though, yeah, yeah, they want to know what, what are they doing right and what are they doing wrong when they're dating? Like you've gone on dates, you know, what are you like, oh yeah, that's that's some great you know, um, assets, not great assets. You know, um, I think just, you know, good conversation, mm -hmm. laughter, uh, doing things that you actually enjoy. Um, you know, not forcing it, I think, is big. And um, I don't know, just, you know, I don't know, just getting to know one each other. And I think that some people get too far ahead and they think it's something that's not, like, way too soon. Like um, when they're like, so how long until you want to get married? Yeah, we've been an hour ago. My ring size yeah. is four and a half. Yeah, so exactly. what's your favorite type of first date? Um, man, you know, probably just going to, like, a good restaurant. Uh, going to a good restaurant and then, you know, I. I'm on the beach now, so like just hanging out by the beach, um, maybe even doing something active. I remember uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I think I took a girl rollerblading one time, and like we had a really good time. She wasn't very good, but I was like, this <laughs> is cute and yeah. 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 cute stuff. You know, I like doing cute stuff. But you literally are on on the beach too. Tell us yeah. about the show X on the Beach. Um, you know, X on the Beach. Uh, basically, you think you're going on a dating show to date, and that's why I went on it. And you show up, uh, you meet. You know, some singles, and then your exes kind of start. Oh, yeah, washing oh. up on the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, the your past is haunting you. Yeah, your past With the present. Right. Oh, how do yeah. you balance that? Uh, you know, it's uh, honestly, I, I don't. I, I had like good relationships with my ex-girlfriends, most part, where we had like a. You know, they have like a love-hate relationship where you know they hate to love me type deal. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> but uh, you know, honestly, I had pretty good relationships with everyone in the house. I feel like I was just you know super nice to everybody. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a dating show and there's some drama involved. Um, it got pretty crazy in there, but um, you know, it's a it's a fun experience for the most part. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of pretty girls. You just go in there, have fun, and. Um, 
yeah, I get to meet new people. So it's like a good life, right? Yeah, yeah. it was it was easy. It was cake to me. Like I was <laughs> my brother for like you know four months, yeah. and it was like a you know it's a little hard. PTSD. It's a little you go on here and you're yeah. like hanging out with like people you know similar yeah. to you. Uh, you have a lot of common interests in them and stuff, so uh, it was a good experience. What have you learned about yourself though, and maybe watching the show or just being there and being a part of something like that? Oh, man, um, you know, I I I've learned that I just like need to like. I need to just like care more, you know, like, I don't know. I, I just, I think care that- Care more about what? I don't know, just like um, about, you know, being serious. You know, I think that <laughs> me being serious has been kind of a task. Um, I just like, am friends with everybody. So it's like hard for me to like take a relationship like to the next level, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be friends with everybody. And I'm like, I really want to meet someone that I genuinely like am in love with and, and take it to the next level. But do you think that there's, problem right now with all these apps and you know all these shows there's yeah. so many women or men on the menu if you will there are yeah. so many options and in fact dating online has made it even just more accessible you can keep yeah. swiping and swiping and swiping well you know I, I say this all the time like dating has never been so easy yet never so hard because of yeah. that reason yeah. yeah it's a paradox of yeah. choice yeah. issue and, yeah and, you know working clients a lot of it when they're getting clear on this burden their truth around if you will we get down to their values and mm. what they're truly committed to so what would you say your core values are when it comes to like family? And yeah, man, I I love a girl with you know a good family. Like I want their family to be my family. I want to be best friends with their brothers and group chats and all this. Mm. You know, like going on vacations. You know, I love that stuff. Um, you know, I um, man, I, you know, I, I try to say that I'm not picky, but there are a lot of things that have to you know fall in line for me. And you know, I don't know. I just have like high expectations. So what are the non-negotiables for you? Non. Oh man, I have. <laughs> You know, like you're not gonna get drilled like yeah. You thought this was a morning show. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. You will be charging anymore yeah. Yeah. at the end of this. Oh, oh, sorry, man. I don't mean to say non-negotiables. Um, just you know, has to want a lot of kids. I want a lot of kids. Um, okay. You know, I yeah, I want like ten. Um, like how many? Like I want like six to eight. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I want a I want a lot of kids. I want to coach these kids. Like I want them to be like you know, great kids. I want to raise some great kids. You know what I'm saying? So I have to have a girl that wants a lot of kids. Um, Your mom is out there and she's so yeah. into yeah. her. Yeah. Like, no, you know what's funny? I see these girls that like they they post this little tweet. And it's like if if you run five k's on Thanksgiving, like bye. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh man, that's awkward because I definitely want a chick that's gonna go run a five k with yeah. me on Thanksgiving morning. You know what I'm saying? That adventure piece, yeah, and the yeah, piece, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you need to be fit. You need to want yeah. twenty kids. Yeah, you want at least twenty kids. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have uh, group chats everywhere with everyone. Group chat. So, yeah. Everyone, uh, the women out there are like, okay, let me start this group chat with my family. Maybe you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I don't know. Just someone that can make me laugh. Honestly, like I said, just like a best friend. Yeah, like, awesome. I have a question. How do you, and we talked about this a little bit, but how do you balance business because you're an entrepreneur and mm -hmm. how do you balance the business with, you know, the other aspects of your life, the social life, the dating life? Is it tough for you? Um, you know, and also being in entertainment? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, I guess it's a little tough. I mean, especially like if I'm going to go on a dating show, you know, like I got needed obviously at some point decide like, hey, this is like kind of the route I want to take. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm moved here to do from a commercial acting. So like, that stuff I want to do in the day at nighttime, I'm like, I'm shut off by like six o'clock yeah. and I'm ready to post up, watch Netflix, like cook dinner, like, mm -hmm. you know, like. You do hear you just, have a princess in your I bed. do have a princess, mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, my, my baby Rory, uh, she's my dog. I, I adopted her, got her from a shelter when she was like two months old. And she's been like my best friend for like the last five years now. So yeah, almost five years. And so. she has her own Instagram. She has her own Instagram. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm, out, I'm like out shooting with her and stuff. Like I'll take her down to the beach and I'm like, man, like, why can't I find a girl that I can just follow around and take cute pictures of? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, exactly. like what girl wouldn't want You're that? Right you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants the Insta boyfriend. I know, right? Like. <laughs> The Insta boyfriend, that's awesome. Be like, travel, like, let's travel and take pics. Like, Follow me around and take my picture. That's right. not a hard yeah. life. I yeah. went and got that, that new iPhone, and I was talking to a person. I was like, all right, there's so many new iPhones out. Like, there's an like X, I know, it's an confusing. S, and okay. R. I'm like, listen, lady, like, which one, if I'm if I'm your boyfriend <laughs> and you need pictures of yourself all the time, which is the best phone? She goes, oh, this one. I was like, here's my credit card. Like, yeah, that's the one that I want. You know? Portrait mode. Portrait mode. Natural exactly. light. There exactly. you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so what are you most excited about? What are you up to? Um, man, you know, um, this is, I'm going on my second year of doing, you know, being in the industry of, you know, commercial acting and modeling and like, I had a really good year last year. Um, so that's kind of, you know, I feel like I'm 
up for a good year this year. Like, you know, I'm going, it'll be my third year. Um, got that, I've got my app, um, you know. Hopefully I can find a girlfriend this year. You know? Like, <laughs> I would honestly love to have like a girlfriend by, the, by you know, by, yeah, by what, 20, what, yeah, What's your 20, favorite app for dating? Oh man, my favorite app right now has got to be Hinge. They're killing it. I've never just, heard of it. Really? <laughs> Hinge, really? <laughs> Hinge is just, I don't know why, it's just like, um, I don't know, like, you know, it, it, it tells you like their age, like where they're from, like, it's just like, um, I don't know, it's more blog looking, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it looks, it's a really good uh, aesthetic, you know? Okay. Like, you can learn actually a lot about them from their hinge, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just looking at a couple pictures and just judging from the outside, like, you can, there, there's more, there's like questions like, uh, oh, like one of the, like on mine, it says, uh, you know, if you won a million dollars, what would you do? And like my answer is, uh, I'd go to the nearest che cheesecake factory, order one of everything on the menu, <laughs> and like that's like you know what I would do if I won a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but like, you tell a lot about a it's very relatable. Person that, by asking him a that does tell us like that, a lot. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So yeah. Cheesecake. <laughs> Next time I want a million dollars, y'all are in. Now my I'll mom's in love with you. So there you have it. It's so great. So tell everyone where they can find and follow your journey. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, MTVX on the beach is airing right now. Um, it's on every, it's on a night, I guess. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't, actually haven't even like watched myself on TV till like this show. So um, yeah, X on the beach, um, Instagram. I'm like really active on Instagram right now. Um, Twitter, yeah, at Corey Brooks. Pretty simple, like plain it. and simple, yeah. So get your cheesecake tonight. Check out. Yeah, we're, check, <laughs> yeah catch me at Cheesecake. Right. <laughs> Every Sunday for brunch. Oh, this is the, the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Back and forth. Good night, all. Thanks for having me, guys.